Yeah, um, thank you very much, Lasky Herlock. Um, yeah, Minister, today I just want to talk about the concept of greenways and blueways, and I, and I want to start referencing off the Waterford Greenway. Like, we all know the Waterford Greenway right across this country. It's become a destination greenway. People are going to Waterford to stay there, to go in the greenway, to utilise it. So I want to talk about how we can replicate that uh, and create a destination greenway in County Louth. And I just want to give you some of the context to greenways in County Louth. Uh, County Louth was actually quite ahead of its time in developing greenways. They've become, they've become not, not to use a word like trendy, but they've become very popular in the last couple of years. County Louth was developing the Carlingford to Meath Greenway in 2011, 2012, 2013, and was quite ahead of its time in terms of the local authority trying to prepare that. Um, at the, the current state of greenways is, we have a greenway stretching from Carlingford to Omeath. We're currently in the process of building one from Omeath to the Northern Irish border. On the other side, you have no, uh, Neary, Morn and District Council are building a greenway from um, Neary to Victoria Lock to meet our greenway at the border, and that's a really good example of cross-border cooperation. Uh, we have seen so many small indigenous companies spring up around greenways, and that's why they're so good. They actually bring business to an area, obviously, when you're bringing people to an area. And it can be business like electric scooters, it can be stuff like, uh, like there's great things in Carnford there that companies have sprung up where they're providing day packages and picnics for anyone who wants to go on the greenway. But what's the and so that's the context of it. But what's the long-term vision? So my long-term vision for it is, is twofold. Uh, I would absolutely love to see the concept of a Louth coastal greenway. Louth, a Louth's geographical area is so well placed that we're an hour north from Dublin, we're an hour south from Belfast. There's about two million people live in this whole region between Dublin and Belfast on so the island of Ireland. So we're so well positioned at such a short trip to make a real uh, business case for something like this. Um, and my, my, my goal is, and my long-term vision, is to see that coastal greenway stretching from Drogheda right up the coastline with a huge, wonderful view of Dundalk Bay, the Moore Mountains in County Down, the Cooley Mountains in North Louth, stretching through Black Rock, Dundalk and on out to Carlingford. So I suppose what I'm asking here today is, like that's a big, big project and that's a big, big vision naturally. Uh, and Louth County Council are very focused on trying to get patchworks of the greenway together. So what can government do to come along to local authorities to try and help them with that? To say, okay, what, what's the big picture here? It's a 10 to 15 year project. There's no point saying it's going to be magic up anytime soon. So how do we help with the strategy with that with government? The final thing that I'd like to reference is um, two things actually. The, the concept of, uh, so in Dundalk we have, uh, I grew up playing on the Navibank walkway. It's one of the most idyllic uh, walks in Dundalk and it gets down to the bottom of it and it's a dead end. Uh, and the big long term goal there is to connect that up with some sort of a greenway walkway from the Navibank Dundalk right around to Black Rock, a picturesque uh, village outside of the town. But one of the reasons why we can't apply for funding for a greenway yet is because we have huge amounts of money for sea farm studies and we have to reinforce um, the sea barriers along that part between the between the dock and Black Rock, uh, and until those sea farm studies are complete, and that 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 uh, what's the word for it? I just can't think of it. The the sea barrier, basically, until that's there. Uh, and it's being built, we can't put in for planning permission for a greenway until that, so it's like a chicken and egg scenario. Until that comes along, we can't go for a greenway along there. Um, like that, that would be huge. You know, I really have a view that we could have, a, we could have our whole country connected up by greenways. We are doing that. I think Louth is a great way to start. And just in my final couple of seconds, the concept of blueways. Like in County Louth, we have the Glide River, we have the Fane River. It's an underutilised aspect of tourism, I think. It's something we're only going to be starting to realise the benefit of it now. And I'd love to know what the government's strategy is with encouraging local authorities to promote uh, and to get Blue Ways going. Thank you, Senator. And I call on the Minister in your four minutes to reply. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Senator Boyne. Uh, and thank you, Senator McGann, um, for giving me the opportunity to talk about Greenways and Blue Ways in County Louth, uh, obviously on behalf of the Minister for Transport. Uh, I think firstly it's important to note that the development of greenways in Louth is first and foremost uh, the responsibility of Louth the County Council and I know you referenced them. Uh, so they should liaise uh, Senator with Transport Infrastructure Ireland because they have recently taken over the responsibility to develop the rollout of greenways under the strategy for the future development of national and regional greenways. Urban greenways and active travel infrastructure is within the remit of the National Transport Authority. So there's a bit of a grey area with regard to cross uh, border greenways, and Louth County Council should continue to work with the Department of Transport in that regard. Blueways uh, are a matter for, for Waterways Ireland, uh, who are not a body 
under the remit of the Department of Transport, but as I'm sure you're aware, under the auspices of the Department of Heritage, which was, which was my old department, and they do a lot of good work in terms of, of blueways. The Department of Transport is currently funding two greenway sections uh, in Louth. First of all, there's pre-construction funding of 200,000, which was awarded in 2020 from the carbon tax fund for a section from Carningford to Templetown. And the department is also a co-funder of an interreg project from the Carningford Lock Greenway section from Carningford to Newry. And I understand uh, from the design that a design team have been appointed for the Carlingford to Templetown section, and they've commenced baseline data collection for the project, which will go towards informing the route options. So the Carlingford Lock Greenway Omeath to Newry section is a joint project between Louth County Council and Newry, Mourn and Down District Council and East Border Region that is co-funded by the EU Interreg programme. 12.35 kilometres of greenways to be delivered in this project, and a 3.5 kilometre section was completed in 2018 in Northern Ireland from Victoria Lock to join the Greenway from Newry. And three further sections are being completed, a two kilometre section from Victoria Lock to the border, a 4.2 kilometre section from the border to Omeath, and a 2.65 section from Carningford to Marina. And tender documents for the main construction contract are being prepared for issuing on completion of planning application in Northern Ireland. And I understand that there are several other greenway sections being planned by Loud County Council, Senator, including the Green Eastern Greenway, the Loud uh, Coastal Way, a Dundalk to Sligo Greenway, and a Boyne uh, Greenway. And it's, it's important that Loud County Council engage as early as possible, uh, Senator, with, land, with landowners who might be potentially impacted by any route and that they carry out as much work as possible ahead of the next funding call so that they are well positioned to be awarded funding. So they should also engage with as many stakeholders as possible, particularly the National Parks and Wildlife Service to avoid any potential uh, environmental problems. Um, there, there, there is also future plans uh, around uh, Transport Infrastructure Ireland. They have recently commenced work on developing a national cycle network uh, as well. And I note your comments around uh, small indigenous companies springing up uh, around greenways. They do bring a lot of economic viability to an area and they're definitely worth uh, 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 bringing forward. But I think the key really is getting Loud County Council uh, to work with um, the National uh, Transport Infrastructure Ireland around developing uh, new greenways uh, into the future. Uh, and once there are, will always be further funding calls as well for construction, um, for, for other construction under the national and regional greenway projects, um, and they can certainly put in uh, some submissions around that also. Thank you, Minister. Yeah. Senator McGann, one minute. Uh, thank you so much for that, Minister. Yeah, and I'd just like to take the opportunity to pay particular tribute to, to the staff in Louth County Council, and in particular, uh, uh, Pat O'Rourke. Uh, Pat was ahead of his time again when it comes to uh, greenways and was advocating for them, you know, a, de a decade ago when greenways weren't the done thing or seemed to be quite difficult when you took into consideration the, the trouble with CPOs and engaging with landowners and stuff. So the, the Council have been really, really good about it. And like the response there is excellent. It's good to see that we really have some good, good long term visions, not just from my own county of Louth, but right across this country, linking it up to Sligo, the Great Eastern Greenway. Um, but the, the big point is, this is, uh, this is really great stuff, and it's really aspirational, and it's really ambitious. Um, and I just want to make sure that we have these plans on track, that they're not just aloof, faraway ideas of nice things that we'd like to do. And the way you've said we do that, Minister, is through continued engagement between officials in Louth County Council um, and the National Transport Authority and, and such like. And if we do that, hopefully these long-term ambitions can be something that we'll all be able to see and enjoy in the years to come in County Louth. Thank you, Senator. Minister, please. Yeah, th uh, thank you, Senator. Uh, you're correct. I think that ongoing collaboration and engagement will, will be important between the various different agencies, uh, Loud County Council in particular, with Transport Infrastructure Ireland. There are, as I said, two greenways uh, at the moment uh, being, con being constructed, if you like, so Carningford to Templetown and Carningford to Newry as well. Um, and as I said, around Blueways, it's Waterways Ireland who, who are the main body. Uh, it's under their aegis, um, so it's worth obviously um, the Louth County Council engaging with them in terms of, of developing because, you know, when you're talking about that long-term Louth Coastal Greenway that you alluded to, which I think would be of huge benefit uh, to that area and, and bringing the, the, the view 
from Drogheda and uh, the view of Dundalk onto Carlingford. That's it is a long term project, uh, but it's not something that could it's not within with outside the bounds of, of possibility, and it's something that could be considered. Uh, and again, it's just about engagement and collaboration.